Question, what are your top 10 Doc Martens? Like, I was reading this article and it just hit me and I was like, wow, I probably do not, or on the spot, I cannot name like 10 different Doc Martens that I actually like that much. Actually, maybe I can. Well, I was reading this article and I thought it was very interesting. It was by people.com. The author listed her top 10 Doc Martens. Let's check out and see if you agree with them. So this is the article. And in the first part, she just talks about how she had the Doc Martens and it went with everything, her first pair of Doc Martens. Then she talked to the head of production and everything. They told her how Doc Martens are and the history and things like that. And these are her picks, which we will go through and just give my opinion. The first one is the 1460 smooth leather, the lace-up boots. I mean, as it says, if there is a most iconic pair of Doc Martin boots, it's this. The classic 1460, which is the brand's original style. When the first Doc Martens were created, they look nearly identical to this traditional lace-up boots. This smooth leather version of the boots is available in eight different colorways this season and can be polished for a shinier coat or worn and scuffed up for a more casual look okay i mean the smooth leather it's nice the only thing with the smooth leather is that it's going to take some time to break into so if you have the time and everything it's very tough and uh it's cool it looks nice i mean like they say you can break it both ways it's good it's very iconic and everything but number one i don't know for me I, I probably will not put that as number one. But for number two, we have the uh, the Chelsea boots, the um, <clears throat> the twenty nine seventy six smooth leather Chelsea boots. They obviously like this smooth leather thing. Me personally, the smooth leather is nice, but man, when it comes to the Chelsea boots, I got the um the crazy horse leather, which whew, I I really like how different the crazy horse leather is, and I feel like it fits that Chelsea boot style and everything, and it just gives it the the personality so i don't know if the smooth leather will do it but i definitely think that uh, the uh, crazy horse leather is definitely gonna do it it says if you're more interested in a pair of boots that you can slip on but you still want that classic okay classic pair of doc martens these are going to be for you like the 1460s there's a few different versions of these including the I don't know how to say this word, but the fur line pair that we'll talk about next, but the smooth leather boots are incredibly versatile. Available in both white and black. Okay, I see. I mean, it's nice, like I said, but personally, I don't like like the smooth leather when it comes to the Chelsea boots. The crazy horse leather takes it for me, period. And then the next one, she said, basically Chelsea boots with fur. I mean, I'm not a big fan of fur. Do you like fur? I mean, I feel like after a while, your feet will start stinking in it. It's hard to maintain. Like fur, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I just don't know how to handle it, but I'm not a big fan of fur. This one is a no-go for me. Basically, what she's saying is that it's good for cold weather. I mean, it's good, but that means you can't wear it during the summertime. I'm not a big fan of this. Mm, the next one, the 14th, I mean, the next one is not the 1460s. The next one is the Jaden Smooth Leather. Like, they really like the Smooth Leather. Like, they're really trying to promote the Smooth Leather. Platform boots are another popular iteration of Doc Martens. And the style is arguably more popular than ever. Though the Jaden boots has only been part of Doc Martens since 2013, Jones noted, who is like the producer or the marketing, whatever, but one of the Doc Martin people noted that it's one of Doc Martin's best selling styles. Okay, I can see it. I actually want a pair of Jadens, but this smooth leather that they're trying to promote, I don't think I can do smooth leather Jadens. It's going to be too tough for me. I've heard a lot of people or I've seen a lot of people say that breaking into the smooth leather is very difficult, especially with Jadens. So I'm trying my best to get the vegan leather. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit easier. But I definitely support the, the, the Jadens. They look nice. I feel like they'll last forever. This one, Doc Martens, what is it? Remiti leather? 
yeah, I, I don't know. This is a female shoe, so we're just going to skip this one. And then the 1461, a back smooth leather. Why is everything smooth leather? It makes it boring. Like, there's so many different types of Doc Martens, but everything is smooth leather. And also, I feel like this is a promotion, too. So maybe they're trying to promote the smooth leather apart from their other leathers. But, I mean, the Becks, yes and no. I mean, the Becks are nice, but I don't know, you know? Although not a boot, Jones named these 1460 Oxford as a quintessential Doc Martens and one of the most popular styles of the brand. Like the 1460, these Oxford have a lace-up design and the stiff takes time to wear in leather that Doc Martens is known for. Mm, that's one thing I do not like. This style is unisex, so it's often both male, both men and women shoe size although like most docs they run big so we suggest sizing down i mean these are nice i just i like the regular ones for the 1461s and i feel like bex certain doc martin looks good in bex not all of them and my opinion i don't think the 1461s they don't fulfill that bex look for some reason just my personal opinion then this one is females. I, I no next. You got the Doc Martin Molly leather platinum boot. Oh, uh, this is a female version. Basically the Jadens too. Female version. St. Clair's another female. Oh, okay. So I guess um Yeah, so if I had to choose my top ten Doc Martins, hold on, let me go to the Doc Martin website. Man, so naming 10 different Doc Martens is very difficult. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Doc Martens, for some reason, I don't know. I can name top five, but 10 is a lot. And I don't know. For some reason, I had a hard time naming 10 different Doc Martens. But here we go. In no particular order, first and foremost, the 1460s. I mean, hello. You can't do anything without the 1460s. But the ones that I will get are the Made in England, M-I-E. Like, I really enjoy those. They're nice. They're just what I like. The next one is the 2976, the Chelsea boots. When it comes to Chelsea boots, the one that I do prefer are the crazy horse leather. I don't know what it is with the crazy horse leather, but I'm crazy about them. My next choice is the 1461s, literally the 1460s little brother. I would actually get this in the smooth leather. I have it in the smooth leather with the white stitching. Mm, they look different. They look nice. The next are the Jadens. When it comes to platforms, these are the ones that I would do, like the big old platforms, the Jadens, and I'll do it in the vegan leather. Simply, I don't want to go through the hassle of the smooth leather and all of that. I'll probably not wear the Jadens as much, so I want to break into them as fast as possible so that whenever I do wear them, I can just put them on and I'm good to go. When it comes to Bex, this is probably the only Bex that I'll get, and I believe it's pronounced the Penton Bex Double Stitched double stitch loafers really the double stitch are just calling my name when it comes to these i they look nice i feel like if i get them they're just gonna automatically look nice and they're more of like a fashion piece if you get what i mean my next one this is like my sleeper pick is the terry glow the reason why i put the terry glows on there a lot of people won't agree with them oh they're not leather they're not blah 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 they're chunky boots and they fit and look amazing literally the upper is mesh and the lower is the airwear sole, so I didn't have to break into them. They were just comfortable right out the box, and I love it. The next one is the 3989. The reason why I put this one on there is because I'm kind of running out of options. This one is more of a special occasion. I like the cherry red ones, and yeah, they're special occasion. If I need to go somewhere and I need to look good, catch some attention from my feet up, boom, these are going to do the job. When it comes to sandals, this one is like... Something that I really want, but Doc Martens did not sell it in America. These are the Clarkson Mule, I believe that's what it's called. But man, if I can get a pair of these, whew, summertime would be amazing. Last but not least, I just put this one on the list. This is going to have to be the 8053. I mean, it's something that I've seen a lot of people like. I mean, it's very similar to the 1460s, but yeah, seems like something that I can wear around. I don't know what type of leather though, but yeah. Or if not that one, I'll probably get the 1460s and the Pascal leather, something like that. But yeah, that's my top 10. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below.